Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. Uh, in this episode, I am uh, going to show uh, the Siglent SDS 2354 XHD. Uh, I'm using the FRA, and it's kind of a of a a hack, I guess. It's not a real feature, but if you make a little jig and use the FRA or the body function, you can actually plot the impedance of inductors, capacitors, and resistors over frequency. Now that's that's really a huge uh, help in characterizing power supplies. Typically you want to characterize your inductors uh, and you also have to characterize your output capacitors. Exactly, uh, know exactly where the ESRs are. So basically, this is what we're doing. Here's a simplified schematic. The output of the generator. This is coming from the back of the scope. It's a different. It's a single-ended. And basically, we want a differential where the secondary is actually floating. So we need a injection transformer. And here I'm using the PicoTest J2101A. And I'm injecting the signal through here into here. So this section is actually this is this section. So basically this is floating and this will be the device that you're going to uh, measure. And the middle point is actually grounded. Why? Because the, this ground is actually the outer shielding of channel 1 and channel 2. So that allows you to actually measure the voltage across this device. And if you have this current flowing through here as well, then you have current going through this resistor and if you set that at 1 ohms well that current gives you a representative voltage that's proportional to your current so channel 2 or channel 1 rather is actually the current so once you do a V over I then you have impedance or the resistance. Now this is over frequency, okay? And that's what we want. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show how to set it up and how it's connected, or at least this is how it's connected. This is the little jig. This is a jig from uh, from uh, one of the Readly box and the signal comes in here and then channel 2 is connected across this inductor or the inductor that I'm testing. So we turn on the body and let's see we can go to configure and we're doing a single simple and I'm gonna sweep going to sweep from 10 Hertz to 10 megahertz with the amplitude of uh, one volt. Actually, let's increase that. Let's say two volts, just for the heck of it. And I'll give you more, more signal. And I believe that is it. So now I turn it on. And if you start plotting. Now, what we're seeing here is in dB, you can say these are dB ohms. So a 0 dB would be 1 volt, 20 dB would be 10 volts, 20 dB would be 100 volts. Okay. Likewise, negative 20 dB would be 100 millivolts. 40 dB would be 10 millivolts. 
or not millivolts, but rather ohms. Okay. So if you notice here, this is the horizontal section. It's horizontal, so it means that this is the ESR of the inductor, and it's below negative 40 dB, so it means it's less than 10 milliohms. And then you see this slope. This is your uh, inductance. This is an impedance of the inductor. And then it hits the resonant frequency. It's about uh, maybe five or six, six megahertz. And then if this, we allow it to go higher, you'll see a downward uh, plot. And this would be the capacitance. That would be the self resonance, okay? So now we can go ahead and if we use the cursors and the cursor is already there, at this, at basically at 99.08, this is approximately 22 dB uh, ohms. Okay, so now we're going to see how to extract the inductance of the little transformer that I, I'm testing. Okay, so the first thing you want to try or figure out is the X of L of the inductor. And the measurement that we got is 22, 22.0 dB ohms. So we want to convert that into regular ohms. So to do that, it's actually 10 raised to 22 dB divided by 20 dB, and that will give you 12.589 ohms. Okay, and since it's uh, imaginary, you can put uh, the J there. Okay, so now we know that X of L is 2 pi F L. So if we solve for L, we get 2.5. that equation. So now if I plug in the numbers, and it's 2 pi, and it's 99.08 kilohertz, I come up with 20.02 microhenry. And that is the correct inductance. So let's verify it just to be sure that I'm not fooling myself. Okay, so now I'm using this nice little LC meter. I short the leads together and then I zero it. It's calibrated then. So now this is a primary. And it measures 21.31, and I calculated 20.2 microhenries. So that is indeed pretty close. So this is nice in that uh, you're able to extract the ESR, the inductance, and the, par and the parasitic capacitance that it's in the primary. If you find this video uh, helpful, please subscribe, share, and give a thumbs up. Thank you.